Police in Northern Ireland are treating the shooting of a police officer as a terrorist attack. Authorities are pursuing lines of inquiry they believe to be consistent with the Republican paramilitary organisation, the new IRA. A detective chief inspector was shot multiple times in front of his young son in Omar. Politics and policing united. It's a rare sight in a dark time. Northern Ireland's five main parties together to support the chief constable and his wounded colleague, John Caldwell. John remains in hospital where he is critically ill and heavily sedated. Last night I had the chance to speak to John's wife and his son. Uh, they are clearly heavily affected by what they've gone through but want to pass on their thanks both to the people that rendered first aid and care at the scene, but also in terms of the outpouring of support from across the community. The First Minister-designate hailed a political unity so often lacking here. It is so important in moments like this that we stand united, and we do stand here united as one voice in our condemnation against this horrific attack on a police officer. There was a passionate denunciation of violence from one leading unionist. It was an attack uh, on our society. It's an attack on our children. It's an attack on our peace, our hard-won peace. Uh, and it's an attack on the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. But it will not work. The Chief Constable admits that this shooting has sent shockwaves through the police service of Northern Ireland. But after visiting his officers in Oma last night, he said we are a tough and resilient bunch. They'll need to be. Confirmation today that this is a terrorist-related investigation with the new IRA, the prime suspects. Forensic teams in OMA continue to examine the sports complex where their colleague was shot multiple times after a football training session, shot in front of his young son and many other children. Something barely comprehensible here. It's pointless, senseless. I do that in front of children. It's unforgivable. Oh, we don't want to go back to that time again. It's just unbelievable just to stop it. Everybody I've been talking to, completely disgusted, and there's no room for that anymore. OMA is finding its voice. The community will gather for a rally against violence tomorrow morning. Their message to the men of violence, the men of yesterday, is clear.